Are you ready for a yummy food trip across Southeast Asia? I know I am. Come along and experience ASEAN. The ASEAN region has so many noodle soups, it's impossible to try them all. In this episode, let's discover the noodle soups of Southeast Asia. We are in Lima Pulo on Jalan Dorai Sami in Kuala Lumpur, otherwise known as Heritage Row, and this is Nyonya Laksa Lema. Now, uh, as opposed to standard issue curry laksa, this does not use curry powder or curry leaves. In fact, it has a mix of ingredients such as galangal, lemongrass, dried chilli, turmeric, and uh, shallots. This is Uncle John's recipe. Uncle John himself is an actual baba from Malacca. I'm going to try my dish now. Now, the broth itself, it has the santan flavour, it is milky, it is thick but not too rich. Alongside with all of the uh, ingredients, the fish cake, the shredded chicken, a bit of the sambal, this is a very nice mix, uh, you know, in, in, in one bite. And the dish is not pretentious, it, is, it gives you a lot of warmth, it's very welcoming, just like Uncle John himself. And, it leaves a nice lasting impression and I would just come back for more. Right, here in Hanoi, we have pho. Now, pho refers to the noodle. So it's a staple dish in Vietnam and different regions of uh, Vietnam have different variations of pho. Today I have Thai Chin and this is cooked with half done and well done beef. Mm. Oh. The broth is really flavorful. And the noodle is very delicate. Surprisingly it doesn't break when you handle it with your chopstick, but it goes down really fast on down your throat and it sort of melts in your mouth. So there are two cuts of beef here. And uh, well, the, the idea is that you get different textures of beef with your noodle uh, when you eat them. Just a little secret here, this place gets really packed during lunch hour. So if you want to get your seat, you need to get here really early. Here in Bangkok, we are very near the Victory Monument BTS station and we're next to the Klong, which is the canal right there. Now this area here, it's a popular boat noodle alley and we are at Payak, one of the many restaurants that serve boat noodle here. Now what we're having today is Kuei Tiao Re, which is called boat noodle. And uh, back in those days, uh, these were actually served from boats passing through the canals, right? And that's like maybe 40, 50 years ago. Now, this restaurant has been around for 40 plus years and they have now transitioned to serving uh, the dishes in, in restaurants such as this. Okay, so the first dish here, this is the tikka noodle soup with beef. Right? Hmm. Right, so this comes with um, glass noodles, right? And uh, beef slices and also morning glory. And the soup is, has a herbal flavour to it. The, the beef slices also sort of absorbs the, the flavour of the soup. Slightly peppery, slightly spicy. The glass noodles are very delicate, they are thin, but they sort of melt away in your mouth, kind of, you know? Okay, now, the different variations of the boat noodle, now this of course is the main one. Now this is a variation of this dish, but it comes with thin noodles, uh, also morning glory, uh, and pork slices. Right? So this is the spicy and sour pork with flat noodles instead. So let me show you. There you go. And it comes with tiao, which is fried dumpling, fried dumpling skin. Okay, so uh, this comes with bean sprouts and this has a stronger kick to it. It's kind of like a tom yum. It comes with two side dishes, the fried pork skin, which is crispy, 
and this uh, Tiao. Now, in case you're wondering why, why these dishes served in really small bowls and why they're not filled up to the brim, now, this is because of logistic reasons, right? So those days, vendors from the boats would serve it to customers on land and it's easier for them if they handle it in small bowls such as this. Now, that being said, on average, a person eats about four to five bowls of this. This is a classic bowl of pad chai. Now the dish originates from the district of La Paz in Iloilo City, uh, which is on an island north of Cebu. And bak choy consists of Mickey noodles, which is egg noodles. Um, you have pork liver, pork loin, you have ox tripe as egg. Uh, there's also chicharron, which is uh, pork cracklings. And they're all in a bowl of beef broth. Now this comes with puto, which is actually rice cake. Now the broth is sweet and salty, which is a nice combination. Uh, it also has a shrimp flavor uh, because of the addition of shrimp base inside. And uh, I like the fact that the um, uh, pieces of pork uh, and ox stripe is cut into thin strips, which makes it really easy to eat. And uh, what makes this noodle soup really unique is the addition of coconut water. And uh, that makes this Dish, the bat choy XP. The ultimate bat choy experience, perfect as a comfort food on rainy day. One of Indonesia's most popular street foods. Now, bakso can be found everywhere across the country, served in street carts or restaurants. This particular chain though is famous for its tennis ball sized bakso, right here, yeah. and its tasty broth. I'm gonna take a bite now. Okay, so this is actually ground beef with tapioca, flour and salt and um, it's quite juicy actually and uh, it has a consistent dense texture to it. Now this particular bakso comes with uh, an egg in its centre and some variations come with cheese filling. Okay, I'm going to try the noodles now. Now the broth is actually beef stock and it's uh, salty but full of flavour. To think of it, this actually reminds me of scotch egg in a bowl of soup. Noodle soup can be comfort food, recovery food or a light meal. Tell us your favourites in the comments below. Subscribe to Air Asia's YouTube channel and hit the bell for updates. See you next time on Eatspirience ASEAN.